Yeah, and so what I really, to put it to the point, simple and plain, is that me, this body of mine, not the life in it, not the life in anybody will ever go to the lake of fire, but every person and, and every tree and everything here, after it's dead, and I mean no flesh will live past a thousand years, and the second death will come. And if God wants those in, then he'll raise them from earth too. But even those who get raised in the second heaven and earth, their bodies are burning here. So Christ didn't lie, but he tricked the devil in a way. And now the devil knows he has no time left, and he's going to go to lake fire for messing with me and everybody else's lives out there and who he's, who he's destroyed their faith and, and his lies and his deceit and his ways and the evil one, and he's going to lake fire, son. This whole universe just crushes him and nothing holds it open. And I mean nothing holds it open. You can pack it with diamonds and, or lead, pure lead, the whole universe, and it just goes to work on it. And it never opens again. That's where the devil's going. Just imagine blowing all your air out and holding it forever and you can't die and it just gets infinitely worse. And you're crushed in the middle of all these things. Talk about what he did. And he deserves it. He suffocates people and mine shafts and everything. So to hell with the devil. Well, that's why that's that's why the, the Lord lets him sin on the earth. Yet protects everybody, gives them what they need, so that His will will be done, and even blesses nations like this America. But not because just so that they can be the most powerful, but so that the whole world didn't kill itself. And He knew that they would at least do that and do the right thing as far as helping nations out with money problems and stuff. Not that they're going to heaven because of this. I mean. I'm not going to get into all that because, like I said, but all, but the purpose is that, and I want you to visualize this earth being a big bait, a trap in a way, and that the devil messed with it and then got hooked and then he got wrapped into it and now it's almost over. I don't mean it might be over today or next week. It could be another 160 years for all I know the end. I don't know. I'm not God. And another thing, real quick. If anyone reads Revelation and they read it just to find out when the end is coming, then that's really the evil one looking. And they're helping, and it's not going to do them any good now. They can just look here. You should read it to find out what God expects of you is what it's really there for. And he wrote it in, a, in parables so that people before it happened wouldn't say, oh, well, this is about to happen, and this, this book already said so. And so this is kind of a... That's why I'm saying that, that, that very, very soon Christ is coming.